This player might look like a human, but it isn't. It's a carefully trained AI that can kill players independent of the game, and just like a real human, it only has access to what's on the screen, and it can only interact with the keyboard and the mouse. Just before we get into the video, I'd like to point out that these can be considered cheats, and you shouldn't be using them on any public servers. Special arrangements have been made for this video to be recorded, and I won't be giving out the code for this video. You probably won't want it anyway after you see how bad it actually plays. This all started back in January of 2025 when I saw this video about teaching an AI how to play Valorant. I actually recreated this using the same image classifier model, but I gave up there. 11 months later, I have a YouTube channel and I decided it would be cool to do the same for Sword PvP. I'm using an AI model called YOLO V8, which detects objects within an image. I had to take over 100 screenshots of Minecraft gameplay and mark all the players in the image so it could be trained. Now that we can detect where players are, we can make the bot follow three simple rules to determine how it plays. The first rule is that if there is a player on the screen, the bot needs to move the mouse to the position where the player would be. This is effectively an aimbot and it's what allows us to track the player and move toward it. The second rule is to move forward or backward to make sure that the player's bounding box is a certain size which we can assume would be the player's reach distance. The last rule is that if the player's bounding box is over the crosshair, the bot should click. Combined together, this allows the bot to fully automate the PvP process. I coded all of these rules into a Python program along with the player detection model, and now we can see how it plays for the first time. I also tested it on my alt account, and I think it did pretty well. I tweaked some of the settings like the attack speed and the reach distance, and I decided to duel my friends with it. The kind stuff at Oceanias.net let me duel my friends on their server for this video. If you live in Australia and you want to PvP others, you should check out the server for yourself. The IP is Oceanias.net. Yeah. <laughs> 
saved by my pain. Who ain't cash a check off my name? When my campaign turned to campaign, I burn eight billion to take off my chains. Burn, baby, burn. Sometimes it hurts, I guess I never learn. To who would make us turn the CEO of the firm? It's not someone smoking sherm with big worm. Man, a couple wrong turns to fry you forever is a permanent burn. You charge it for cookie that's bang for your buck. If you're kissing on the mouth, you ain't charging enough. You heard I was flying a mouth, they was trying for clout, I was dying of gout. Man, the world gone mad. Her R. Kelly in the next Balenciaga ad. You're probably wondering why the bot plays so poorly. There are a lot of reasons to this that I'll explain. The most important thing when running an AI is to have a GPU because it can do math way faster than a CPU can. You probably saw the text in the corner of the screen when you were watching the clips. That was how long it took for the AI to recognize the players, which took around 100 milliseconds, or if I had a GPU, it would be way less, like I'm talking around 20 milliseconds, maybe even 5 milliseconds. The accuracy of the model is also a problem, because I only used 100 images to train the model. It made it less accurate, and you could probably see it in the footage too. Sometimes it thought my diamond sword was a player and it would just aim off screen to do that, I'd mess up the whole thing. Apart from that, the AI works pretty well, and at 5000 likes I'm going to be doing the same thing, I'm going to get a GPU for it and do some kits like Axe and Shield, maybe even Crystal. So stay tuned for that, and make sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching.